What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's get into it. Woo! It's been a rough, rough, rough morning. But you know how you feel like you're a step behind? And like so much has transpired and you're like, what's going on? What happened? So anyway, let's get caught up. So Dr. Dre was released from the hospital. Right? Now, since Dr. Dre was was released, there now when Dr. Dre was released, uh, I'm sorry, not released, but released that statement saying that he was doing well and all of these things. Dr. Dre was barely conscious. He was not doing well. He was getting there, but he wasn't there yet. And what they wanted to do was find a way to get him there. Like, get him at that level. And the best way to find a way to keep him at the level was to find ways to keep changing the narratives. And the person that was good at that was his team, his agent. You know, they put out that statement that Dre was doing well and he's going to be home soon. But at that time, Dre didn't write any of that. Then, on top of it all, Dr. Dre turns around and says to the rest of the world, this is what I'm about. He's conscious, he gives his statements, and says, let's go, let's get up out of here. Now, before they took Dr. Dre out, Dr. Dre is very weak. He's not walking around, Dre. They took Dre out, brought him to his house. Dr. Dre has to go through rehabilitation. He might forget a lot of things because of this. Now it was shocking because Dr. Dre doesn't smoke. But this could be going on for years and you not have known it. You know, high blood pressure could lead to it. So, drugs could cause it. You know, a large intake of caffeine. Not eating healthy. So, if you got a health care provider, you could check with them about lifestyle changes that you can make and you know with your medication that could help so when you start thinking about a 
brain aneurysm that he got. You got to find out where on the brain it happened. Then the location. You know, the where. You got to find that location. Then you got to determine the size of it. And then you want to, you know, look at the risk of it just rupturing completely. So you want to limit as much stress as possible. If there's stress around you, you might want to get rid of it. Because it's not going to serve you <clears throat> a bit of good or any purpose. So, in other words, I'm out. Y'all have a blessed day. Just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on with Dr. Dre. And on another thing, on another note I wanted to point out is the fact that we have got to do better as far as our health blacks period we got to eat better we're not eating right we're not thinking right we're making the wrong actions you're in a war out here they got an invisible life taker that's floating around out here they got people in their homes can't go out anymore and people are going out and they've normally been mostly people with bad habits, elderly, got a lot of disinfectancies going on. Ooh. Due to the fact of their health. Being bad because of things they've eaten in the past. Poor eating habits, poor exercising habits. I had a, a friend that gained 20 pounds. Like that. It's like, what are you doing gaining all, like 20 pounds like that in a year? Less than a year, just gained 20 pounds. Matter of fact, in like a couple months due to the COVID. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, my job was keeping me in shape. You know, all that moving around. Now that I'm not moving around, my body don't know what to do. I'm like, well, you better do something in the household because it's your eating habits. You know, he was eating poorly. Even while he was working at the job. But his moving around at the job and being on his feet, you know, he was able to burn all that bad habits out because he was walking around. But now he's sitting around, he's still got the bad eating habits. So we got to kind of watch what we're eating. Now, if you work out enough, of course you can afford to eat some bad junk or something that feels good for you. But nine times out of ten, people are not going to the gym every day. Now, for me, the gym is closed. But I've only gained about six pounds, if that, since the COVID. Because I don't get outside my eating habits. <clears throat> but, anywho. 
we'll leave that there. Don't want to make it long. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Everybody out there, thanks for supporting the page. Hit the like button. Y'all have a blessed day. And be healthy.